Hey guys, okay, I'm back. Now I have a pair of Ardell Professional Black Tie eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. So, I'm gonna get these out of here. A lot of people use Ardell as their really um, quite easily found in drugstores and stuff like that. Okay, so it's being hard to open. You'll notice that I use tools instead of my nails to do anything that's harsh because I want to keep my nails. I don't want to use my nails as my tools. So I have these eyelashes here. As you can see, they have rhinestones here and they are like in clusters. These were on sale. I got them anyway. So what I'm going to do is I want to make these look natural. I'm not going to use these like this. So I'm going to take these little stones off here with my tweezer. They're glued on. My whole point in making this tutorial is to take these um, lashes and change them, completely change them and make them look more natural and not so separated. Um, if you notice how eyelashes are made, they are little loops of hair on a little clear thread. Now, it's not thread exactly. Um, got the name right now I'm sure you'll all know it monofilament no I can't remember the name so I'm pulling off these little stones one more okay so now you could see oops I think I left one no that's not left on. Okay, so let me see if I can, how close I can get this to show you. These are little knots on a string right here. And this is a clear, clear one. So these could be moved around. So I'm going to pull back here a second. Let me see if I can zoom in. Because maybe you have eyelashes you purchased and you weren't too crazy about how they look or if you have old ones that you want to fix all right so here's the deal we're gonna take these this cluster right here and we're just gonna spread it out I started doing it on the other side like right here this side was clustered together like this so what I started to do was move it around they're just little knots onto this little plastic thread and I do forgive me can't remember the name so basically it'll take a little time and there is glue on here from the from the rhinestones so you're just gonna move it over now I'm gonna do this to this side off camera because it's like a I don't know if you want to sit here and watch me completely move all these little hairs around but you could see how easy they are to move around so we're just going to space them around nicely where it looks nice and natural although these are probably fun for a special evening the way that they were but can't always use them like that 
get some more of that glue off here. Just put that back. This glue's coming off finally. And it's just sliding it over. Let me hold this down because I think I lifted it a little bit. And the only reason I'm showing you how to do this is because you buy lashes one way and then when you get them home you're like, oh, I don't care for that, that look. Then you can do this. All right, guys, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to continue working this, taking the glue off. And I will show you what it looks like when I come back. Okay, guys, I'm back. It took a little bit of time. I won't lie. It didn't take that much, but it does take time because you have to move every little knot and make sure that it's evenly spaced out, as you can see. Now... Here's the before. See, it's dark and it's thick here, and then here is it's not. And I showed you before here, it's where I tried it originally, and I thought I'd save the to do it so I could show you how to do it. So yeah, it's basically just moving the little knots around and making them look rich. Now I've seen and done the hacks where you use a spoolie. I use a toothbrush and you can make these look even more natural by simply brushing them. And they're supposed to come together nicely. Mine has a little bit of glue here still. Let me just move that over. But this is how it came out. I think they look very nice and I will be wearing them. These are from Ardell. There's glue on the tape on the bottom here. Let me see if I can lift it up. There you go. And I think they look amazing. I would wear these, not these. Like I said, I bought these because they were on sale and I do a lot of weddings so I said oh, I'll use it for a wedding but I decided let me play around with these and see how it works well guys I hope this has been fun informative and I hope new to you that you can actually take the lashes and move them around and create them to a style that you like. All right, guys, I hope you've liked this. It's been informative, helpful, and you try it, share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe to it. I will be showing another eyelash hack in a few. Thank you.